Jan, we're going to talk to Jan here in a second. Jan's always got something cool. If it ain't an electric car, it's a new radio, and it's something that I am very lost wow, in. Eric. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with this, so you're going to tell me what this is. I will, but before we do that, welcome to Field Day yes. in Vero Beach. Okay, you guys saw the cubicle quad. Yeah, I got all separate feet. videos on that. Yeah. All the separate we're having a bucket so truck parking lot over here. The chef's hat, did you get it? Yeah, I got the chef. I got that on video, okay. yeah. Well, guys, since you last tuned in, uh, Natasha and Bullwinkle, the Chrysler burnt to the ground, my electric car that you saw oh, no. in the video. Everything from the firewall back is destroyed, and it, um, at least you can put them out with the Chevy Volt batteries because the ones, the other brand, the firemen say they can't put out. And I was charging it outside, of course. Don't charge your electric car in the house. Don't put your generator in the house. Don't fill your car with gas in the house. Anyway, that car's destroyed, boys, so no more percolator off the car. Oh. Here we go. Uh, the, uh, this is the new s -Bit x version 2 with the built-in Raspberry Pi. s -Bit x s -Bit x version 2. So I'm familiar with the micro -Bit x which was at one time a kit. Right. And then, then they started selling yeah. them. And you can still buy this one. Uh, you can still buy this board. This has a Raspberry Pi 4 in it. And I think it has 32 meg card in it. Um, it has Bluetooth. It has Wi-Fi. It does um, FT8. We're on a 40 meter antenna. Sorry guys, listening to 20. Um, but it uh, decodes CW. Um, it uh, Decodes around FT the screen? Yeah. And it what does, about PSK and Ridio? It does what, FT8. That? PSK oh shit, it will. Look at that. Did it two tone. All right. Okay. Can uh, you type on the screen with Ready in PSK? You can type on the screen. Nice. So if you go to, let's just change it. So this comes pre pre built like this. You can buy it pre built for four ninety nine plus shipping out of India, and that would be uh, that would be uh, Look at and that. plus uh, the ship with shipping and everything five thirty nine. Okay. How many watts does it put out? It puts out forty max on the low band. Oh wow. Okay. Um, so it's not a little QRP radio. Nope. So you can you can run your VFO knob here, change your frequencies. You can run it here if you want to finger it around. There's your second VFO knob. You touch it, and you've got what band you want, what filter you want, and the last thing you touch goes to the multi knob. So we can close this. Uh, we can. Let go, me see that pen. We can. Well, <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Fidelity. If you're old and retired, you get your pens at Fidelity with the, uh, <laughs> the stylus. The stylus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you touch the RF gain, then your multi-knob is the RF gain. Ah, so if you last touch the volume, then your multi-knob... If you last touch your volume, your multi-knob is except, the volume. Except on volume. Well, it works. I just can't see with the glare on the screen. There you, there go. you go. Okay. Okay. Now you can close the screen down. So you got a, you got a waterfall spectrum scope there. Yeah, and you got built-in N1MM logging program. You got the full Raspberry Pi. So you could you can click on a the plus there, and you, you can, can go to hamradioconcepts.com on the same friggin' radio. Yep. There you go. Yep. You can <laughs> you can watch TV and everything, Bluetooth and uh, and Wi-Fi. Okay, tell me. And then you can click on the other. So basically, that's running a um, like a, a Raspberry Four. Right, but it's right. It's, this is the software that it's running. Oh, is uh, is what Android or whatever? No, well, it no, runs it's, there. It's Linux based or something. Linux, but, but right. But that's that is what is running. Is like usually some will do SDR play or, or or, or do a, a HD SDR or whatever. I wonder if there's multiple programs you could use for this, or if that's the one. I think you can. It's all open source. Okay. Okay. So now we can change to uh, we can go higher in the band. Well, let's go to forty, because I'm on a forty meter antenna. And let's go, where do you want to go? Uh, to outer space? Let's go to outer space. <laughs> Eric, South, South Africa? I think you and I have been in outer space before. Okay, let's, let's see if, what's going on here. Well, you know, if, wait a second. Uh, fully, Hold, wait, right? wait, wait a second, mm -hmm. Jen. Wait, wait, wait. You know why you don't hear nothing? I feel they hadn't started yet. You know what that means? Yeah, everybody's eating. No, they haven't turned the switch on yet. Yeah, oh, the ARL. Because you, know, you know in two hours, it's gonna be, you ain't going to be able to find a free frequency. Yes, we expect the ARL to turn the switch on momentarily. Uh, when <laughs> have you ever seen... <laughs> okay, so what happens here is you can also use the built-in microphone. Oh, like my little Zygu You can hit the head. transmit, use the built-in microphone. You can sit there and talk right in front of it. And you can talk right in front of it. What's the mic that comes with it? The mic that comes with it is a generic uh, no name. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, let's go to 80. So it'll do 80 through what? 80 through uh, 10. 80 through 10. Uh, this thing may go to 6. I didn't look. 
No, 8210. Okay. What is all that in the bottom? Band activity. What Hold is that? on. Is that like a spot? Oh, no. Yeah, what yeah. is that? Like a spotter network or something? No, I think that was my. Uh, no, that's when I had it Your on log. FT8. Your log. Oh, that was my log. Yeah, but I can go into the log. Hold on. We'll get to that. I haven't learned everything about this. I tuned this antenna for about 3.9, but yeah, all quiet on the western front. Okay, what you do is you go up here, and you got your keyboard, you got your keyboard, your console, your telnet, your recordings, and your settings. Okay, you can uh, record your CQ, you can do all that. Oh, no, it saves on the SD card? Yeah. Okay. And like I said, you got the... Uh, the harp radar going? Yeah. <laughs> now, when you close this down... Okay. So here's why it has the duplicate screen that you can actually tune and run over here. You can see your keyer, your mic gain, your radio drive, how many percent, record, splits, log audio. Right, right, log, it has my call sign. You put your call sign in and you put your um, grid square in. Okay. All right, so tell me about over and, here now Wait, for a second. We got and then when you, oh, Ethernet, you, USB, what, what, for what? I know that's the Pi, well, but... Keyboard, you can plug in keyboards, you can plug in your LAN network. You, you could use the Wi-Fi, like I told you, or Bluetooth. Can, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I keep forgetting it's a Pi, because you probably upgrade, update the Pi right over the SD yeah, card. Yeah, so you, or, go to the, you got a full Pi in here. There's your whole Raspberry Pi menu. Okay. You got the uh, web, bring up your web browser. Okay, and then you got your uh, radio. You got okay, so FL Digi. Could you could you run it remotely? Yeah. Oh so yeah, they can run this radio remotely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now here's how it works. So it lights up. This is the light up screen. You touch the S bit X. Are those real tubes in there? I think. <laughs> no. Are they warm? No. <laughs> okay, and then uh, it should load. But I'm a uh, I'm a Pi moron. Yeah, I'm not really versed in Pi yet. There we go. Okay, so when the Pi, when it lights up, come on. Okay, so it lights up to the screen, then it goes. Now, guys, don't look. Clever your eyes now, because I'm putting in the super secret code to run my radio. <laughs> okay. And now you're back online. So, in a nutshell, <clears throat> 80 through 10. 80 through 10. Max for, uh, 40 watts. Max 40 watts on the low band. Running on a Pi 4. Running on a Pi 4. 32, they give you 32 RAM. Gigs 32 of RAM, right? Meg, no, meg. Right? Be 32 gigs. gigs. Okay. I mean, a 32, megabit, 32 yep. megabyte card was popular right. in 1994. So now, um, how much do you think that weighs? Two pounds, two and a half, two and a quarter. And how long will that run on that battery? What's, what's the receive current drain? I didn't do all that yet. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you know, people are going to ask about oh, it. Oh, you know. man. Would you consider this a good portable radio for for a field day or I, for I, QRP I, or, or, well, or backpackers? I don't know yet, but boy, a 7-inch screen, you only get... You're living the dream on a 7-inch screen yeah, here at Hamburg. because otherwise it cost you, what, $5,000 to get a 7-inch screen? I wonder if you could hook something. up an external display to this somehow. Yes, I think you can do that. I talked, a guy had one, I think, hooked to a 72-inch display. Uh, you know I have the uh, the Ubit X3, that sounds great. You guys saw that. The Ubit right. X6 and so, a little FX4 Alpha. Well, I still have the FX4 Alpha, I and I still have thing. the full ELAD station. But guys, I've gone. Oh, the, e the ELAD. I've gone to the dark side, guys. I went with SDR2 Pro, 20 watts out, into an Italian uh, 20 watts to 1kW expert amp at the house. And Jim Jim's got a uh, ELAD as well. Jim's got the same radio. Yeah. yeah, Jim has the ELAD and the SDR2 Pro. So we're both playing with that. So this, like I said, I had to try it, and uh, I just don't know. I wish I knew more about it to tell you guys, but I will learn more about it. Well, it's a first look, and, and, and then let Eric know. First look, and so. then you know, one day we meet up at the QRP at uh, the the Fingers over on a river one Saturday. Maybe you'll yep. show me some more, more about it. Um, Have you made contacts on it yet? Yes, I made a contact from the Fingers uh, last week. Okay. First Kia. All right. What?
It's decoding all the... Uh... Well, no, not there. It's not. That's what you use for a log. No. Oh. Band activity. But yeah, no, it does It does do PSK and RIDI with a keyboard on it. That's pretty NFT cool eight. because... And FT8. You mean it, so it does FT8 within. So there's no, yeah. no computer needed for FT8. Right. All these modes, there's your modes again. Wait, so. I don't see FT8 on there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. FT8. Oh, 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 I see. Top oh, one. I see. That's what that is in the middle. That's the FT8. Right. Right. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And I'm waiting for FT9. I, you know, I'm an old guy. How much longer am I going to live? When's FT9 coming out? No one talks about FT4 because you actually get to have a conversation on FT4. Mm -hmm. Or no, that's JS8 call, right? FT4 is like a smaller FT8 or something, and then JS8 call, you could actually type. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, don't we, don't we, already, talk, we already talked about that. Right, okay. okay. We already talked about that. This man Eric right here borrowed not. a radio from me that had a screen protector on it three months, and he rips it off as he borrows it. Listen, so I, I, I saw this, and I'm like, Jan, until, I got to pull it off. Until <laughs> Eric tells me that it's okay, I'm not pulling that off until Eric tells me it's okay. No, that, that, should, that will stay there. So, so uh, that's it from uh, Field Day Central here in Vero Beach. Yeah, I got a lot of good footage here. And the antenna, I can't wait to see that antenna happening over there. Let's go eat. Yeah, go get something to eat, man. 7-3, everyone. 7-3. Ham Radio Concepts. It's brought to you by hamradioprep.com. It's never been easier to learn about ham radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit hamradioprep.com. Com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, hamradioprep.com.